We just spent $20,000 on the unit behind me, guys. You heard me right. We just spent literally $20,000. We got this whole shelf, the whole thing. It's a little bit dark. I hope you guys can see it right now. This whole thing is full of just Legos. We got Star Wars, Disney, Pirates of the Caribbean. We got a nice Lego sets right here. Those are old. Look at that. How old do you think it is? Let me see. I don't know. Look what he just opened up. Star Wars. Oh. What? Oh, yes. These are all easy two hundred dollar bills. I feel like. Yes. This one right here, a thousand dollars. Right now we're just trying to move everything back to the warehouse because it's super dark in here to record for you guys. But there's a lot of Legos. The pirate's pretty happy. We still have to go through this corner right here too. A bunch of nice sets like this. Look at this. The amusement park. It's probably a good five hundred dollars. I bet. There's just Legos on Legos on Legos. These bags are all full. Look at another pirate ship. We're gonna have a whole pirate Lego collection now, guys. Just walked back into the jackpot of freaking Disney pins. Yeah. And we're not done. What is this one? One bag here. I don't know what Disney pins are worth. I want to say at least like 10 bucks a piece, right? A nice little Disney wallet. I haven't seen the exact Lego count, but I want to say like 150 Legos. $200 a piece, it looks like so far. I mean, we have to still go and look, obviously, to get a good count. But there's a lot of Legos and a lot of money here. There's so many bags. I get nine more of these big, like, little tote bags. Just absolutely stuffed with Legos. Holy smokes, guys. Look at this. Box of game stuff. NES. Two sleeves of just games. This looks like 25 plus games, literally. I see like two Zeldas. A bunch of just, a bunch of nice games. They even have the sleeves, which is pretty nice. It's marked jewelry, and this thing is absolutely full to the top of Judith Ripka and boxes of jewelry. We are all loaded up to go back to the warehouse. We have the back of Uncle Michael's truck, the back of our truck, in the back seat completely full of Legos, jewelry, and video games. Now, let's bring them all back to the warehouse and go through it all. I'm pretty happy about it too, because I'm gonna be honest, guys, I was doubting the pirate on spending that much. I was like, Dad, stop, what are you doing? 20 grand, okay, it was like $17,800 or something like that, and then obviously there's a 15% buyer's premium. So after everything is said and done, gas, 20 bands were spent right there. But that's pretty good what we found. I was pretty hyped personally with all those games. Obviously, I know I'm not keeping her anything. I just like enjoy finding that stuff though. I thought it was dope. And there was literally like 150, 200 nice Legos, not like the little, here's a nice little $50 Lego. No, they were nice big old $500. One was a thousand. One was a thousand. There might be a couple more thousand dollar ones, but that was dope. This is just half the Legos, I think, literally. I want to say there's more than double the amount of Legos in the pirate's truck literally look at all this there's so many just like nice big old buildings like usually i don't like the crater or the city legos but these have to be nice just because they're nice big old buildings there's a movie theaters two movie theaters we got like bank what is it, like a bank system yeah it's that's a bank we can literally build a whole city it's like a nice bridge that's what they're doing they have like a whole city but they never actually built them but the amusement park 500 bucks right there my lighting is a little bit bad in the garage, but here's another good chunk of all the Legos and all of the jewelry and Disney pins we found. Look at that, it's some nice jewelry. Wow, look at that. That is nice. Some 14 karat gold, some more gold. We're back at the warehouse and now let's go through everything. We put a massive Facebook Marketplace ad. I kinda wanna show you guys. Here's the pictures of all of them. You should see all the Legos pretty well. 25,000. These are all mostly sealed. For the most part, they're sealed. And if they're not sealed, the bags inside are still sealed. We're not sure if it's actually even gonna sell, but we would not mind 25,000 cash. On top of everything else we still have. Look at this, we got like boxes of jewelry. Whole boxes of it, look at Judith Ribka. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's not jewelry. That is gold and silver, you're right. This is the gold and silver box, sorry. Woo, look at that pretty ring. That's nice, that's nice sterling silver. Never heard of Shane. It's fire ruby. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, and then, like I said, everything in here is gold and silver. And if you dip underneath the gold and silver, then you get into the very expensive $100 Disney pins. You'd have to open one to show them. But these are our more high-dollar Disney pins. They're limited edition. Like, somebody wants 2000 for this. No stitch. way. I, I don't, I think it's a little glorified. No but. way, that'd be crazy to get 2000 for the that. The difference is these are not touched. They're in the original package. They say LE on them. Whereas once they're open out of the styrofoam, that's technically not new, right? Or look at this box of Disney. Wow. Things. These are all 
choice pins, like 25, 30, 40 bucks a pop. And this whole thing is loaded full of Disney. This whole, this is all the Disney stuff. Everything you see down here. Going back, that's a lot of Disney stuff, guys. Yep. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. Just put, I'm interested in those Disney stuff or whatever, and I'll direct you guys to the whatnot. I have it in my description. One thing I thought was dope that we found was this NES console. It's not obviously too expensive compared to like all the Legos we found. There's some good value here, don't get me wrong. Oh wow, yeah, look at this. Woo! A bunch of manuals on these on the side of this too. That actually adds good value to these games. Just the manual even. Obviously having the box would be cool too, but people actually like just having the manuals too. The Goonies too, they have a Goonies game. Those manuals definitely add some good value to these games here. Whew, look at that. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That one looks like a nice one. King's Quest V. That one's a pretty solid one. I want to say that one's like 40 bucks. The Hunt for Red October. Of course, he's got both of the Zeldas. That one always happens when they got when we find an NES collection. Two Tetrises. All three of the Super Mario Bros. Top Gun. Some racing games. That's solid though. There's like 25 plus games here. The console. This should be like 400 bucks, hopefully. But this one looks nice. Like it's like a robotic Lego set. That one's used, but if this was new, I feel like that's got like $400 since it's got like the robotics in there. I remember this robotics one right here, I scanned. I'm pretty sure it's used a little bit, but this should have been like $600 Are as well. Are you well. trying to show some forms right now? This is a $600 sale on eBay. Ooh, $600. It what looks is it? The 1097, it is a firehouse, and it looks, this is the way a lot of them are. So if you notice the ones we've listed to eBay, I have doubles, but they're open, so I haven't listed them, but they're like $600 cents. So this is what I was saying, like all the bags are sealed, but the box is open, so it's a little confusing. And if you look at the sold comps, I see a lot of ones that are open, like say it sells for 600 and somebody has an open box, it might only sell for 500, but they're not like getting massive markdowns. And we did find a $2,000 Lego set. Something beat the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Look up 10185. That is a $2,000 Lego set. We found a $1,500 Lego set. We found a lot of nice ones. All right, so he sold a $200 one and a $570 Lego set so far. And it looks like he took a deal on this second one. I don't think he listed that $570. This was marked for $630. So that's pretty good still. And we got a Miss Pac-Man machine. I'm not sure if it's conditioned. Obviously, it's just sitting in a storage and it's not the cleanest. So we're not going to value it at working price until we obviously know it's working. But I feel like we should be able to get like 500 bucks for this, right? At least. I don't know, though. You guys let me know how much something like this is worth. I was not expecting these little kid ones to be worth any money. When we look up this number, 3326, you can't find this exact set, like complete. But we see like this cart listed for 40 bucks and it says there's 14 pieces. I'm pretty sure this cart is like two of these pieces. So that means there'd be seven $40 pieces. What is that math right there, guys? That's some decent money. We've got four of the sets right there. I don't think I recorded this unit too, guys, but isn't this like a $20,000 statue? I didn't really- I would say this is possibly five grand. This is- This came from a unit recently that I moved. I wasn't there. He took the day off, guys. <laughs> I think you spent like two grand on the unit, right? Or something 2300 like that. And bam, five thousand dollar statue. Units. This is August Moreau. They do top out like 40, 50, 60 grand. But this is not an earlier. My friend said based on you know, I call my specialist. Yep. Based on the base, this is not the older style base. It's more of a reproduction piece. Aww. Still signed by him, but it's worth, I think, anywhere from one thousand to five thousand bucks. Take a guess real quick in the comments before we tell you what you guys think this is worth. They're going to want to see the model number because this just takes the era of it. And Serial number is 1434, y'all. It is a JBL Paragon. So now I've given you time to guess, guys. It's actually worth like 25 grand. And that is the end of the video. If you guys have made it this far, you've watched the whole thing. Thank you so much for making it this far. And let me know. If you thought this was a good buy, I didn't show exactly everything. Put like a Lego emoji in the comments though. Made it this far.